So, it's hard to believe we're already at week 7 of the Blue Way 10k challenge. This week we're going to review some of the finer points of the forward stroke to really get you as efficient as possible on the water. This is also a good week to consider trying a faster boat, perhaps something a bit longer than what you've been in so far, and if you feel up for it, maybe something even a little bit narrower too. If your club or provider don't have access to the faster boats, you can request to borrow one free of charge from the nice people at Canoeing Ireland by filling out a request form at www.canoe.ie forward slash blueway 10k. Everyone thinks that you paddle with your arms and core, but the reality is that your legs play a huge role in efficient forward paddling. This week we're going to take a close look at the leg drive and how that can help you to improve your forward stroke. We'll also take another look at the all-important setup that we looked at way back in week two and do a review of the sweep stroke as well. We first covered the setup phase way back in week two, and now is an opportunity to review that all-important phase of the forward stroke. Effectively, the setup is the last part of the recovery phase from the previous stroke. It prepares you to execute the next catch phase as effectively as possible. This time we look at setting up on the left side. Extend your left arm fully forwards with your hand around chin level. Your trunk is fully rotated for the setup with the left hip and shoulder forwards and your right hip and shoulder back. Your right elbow should be in line with your shoulder at about 90 degrees. Your right hand should be about eye level. You did your first sweep stroke in week one and have hopefully learned since then that the sweep stroke is an important stroke for changing direction without breaking rhythm or losing any speed. Here is a quick recap of the key points. To do a sweep stroke on your left, begin at the catch with your left arm extended forward and your right hand at chest level. The angle of the blade entering the water should be shallower and wider than a forward stroke. Once the blade enters the water, begin trunk rotation, but keep the left arm straight and right arm low for the whole stroke. The wider the blade goes away from the boat, the more the boat will turn. Leg drive is an essential component of the forward stroke. It helps to control balance and the transfer of power from the paddle to the boat. Just before the right catch, the right leg should be relaxed and the left leg should be pressing against the footbar. Just after the right paddle enters the water on the catch, at the start of the draw phase, the right leg immediately presses against the footbar and the left leg relaxes. The right leg continues to press on the footbar throughout the draw phase. During the exit and recovery, maintain pressure on the right leg while keeping the left leg relaxed. The diamond formation is the most common group formation in kayak races. The formation is set with a lead kayaker working at the front. Two more kayakers follow the lead on the left and right sides. Their position is about one meter to the side of the leader, with the nose of the kayak just behind the leader's body. This position is known as the half diamond or side wash. A fourth kayaker follows directly behind the leader with a gap of about 1.5 meters, riding the wake of both the left and right kayakers. This position is known as the full diamond or A wash. The benefits of this formation are that the three kayakers following the leader can save considerable energy. A good tip is to watch the nose of your kayak. The optimal position to ride either the side or a wash is when the nose of your kayak is lowest in the water. 